Today we will be making meatballs. For the meatballs, these are the ingredients you will need. You will need some salt, milk, ground pepper, black pepper, garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, bread crumbs, two eggs, and a pound of ground beef. You First you're going to preheat to your oven to 350, which I've already done. Oh, and I forgot to say you're also going to need parsley. So you're gonna put in your pound of meat in your bowl. I'm just gonna, that's my oven preheating. I'm gonna mash this up a little bit real quick. Just a pound of this. All right, next you are going to put in two eggs. So, make sure I can open my trash here. Hold on a second, there we go. And, ah, so I'm missing one. All right, one egg. And these are crafty eggs. And two eggs. You are going to get a little bit messy with this one. So just be aware of that. So now you're going to add a, a fourth a cup of milk. So I'm my fourth a cup here. Got my milk. Pour that in. There we go. So I'm going to put this over to the side and cover my milk back up. I'm going to add next a half a cup of bread crumbs. So I'm going to open this and if you get a little more it's okay. Okay, there's my breadcrumbs. Okay. Put that to the side. Now I am going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. So I only have um, a teaspoon, so I'm just going to add half of this. So my salt. good enough. Just kind of estimating on that one. Next you're going to add one tablespoon of fresh parsley. So I'm going to put my bowl aside and I'm going to go get my parsley real quick. Got my parsley. And now I only need one tablespoon so just a small amount. So I'm going to cut this up into small pieces. Put my bowl aside. All right. So I'm going to continue to do this um, until I have enough for one tablespoon. I'll be back when I am done with this. Okay, so now I have my one tablespoon of my parsley. I'm gonna put it in there. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder. So my teaspoon and my garlic powder. And if it doesn't like, it's not coming out. There we go, good. Okay, so now we're going to add in a half a, a half teaspoon 
of fresh ground pepper. So I have my teaspoon. I'm just going to do half of this. So where did it go? There it is. So I'm just going to... Get half of this in. It doesn't it comes out slowly. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I found the other side, so I'm just now gonna, there we go, good enough. All right, so now we're going to add a half a cup, so half a cup here, whoop, of grated Parmesan cheese. So I have this here. There we go. And let's pour that in. My my cheese does not want to come out today. Let's get it. All right, there you go. So now we're going to mix this up. gonna get this all right so now I'm gonna mix it up and you want to get in with your hands all right let's well, it's gonna be very messy especially with the egg it's gonna feel weird too it's very cold <laughs> Uh, move my spoon in. Let's just put my spoon there for a minute. I have some things up here I can't grab right now, but some things that I'm going to scoop my meatballs with to make sure they're all the same, about the same size. So I'm using a little, um, well, I think I a little cookie scoop to make it sure that all of my meatballs are the same size. So I will get back to you when this is all mixed. So I have my ball, plop it on. So I'm gonna do a couple more of these. So I got this. And I like to roll it like this to get that really ball shape. And I'll do this one. So now I'm going to fill up my pan. Wait, pause, 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 pause. Okay, so now I have all my meatballs on my pan. I have 16 here. Um, so now we're going to put them in our oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. So I'm going to carry these over. Actually, we'll put this out. Um, I got new things. All right, pull these over. So now I'm going to put them in for 30 minutes. Oops. Go and so I will see you when these are out of the oven. So now they're done from the oven, so I'm going to take them out. spaghetti to go with my meatballs. We could make meatball subs, anything that involves meatballs. I hope you like this recipe. Bye-bye. Make sure to like and subscribe.